professional photographer. Nathan works for the Canadian press and gets to go all around the world. Mostly I cover Canada nationally as a national water photographer. So I get, I've been up to the Arctic, I've been to Gulag, I've been to uh, Iqaluit, I've been to um, all through the United States. I was at the Olympics in Vancouver, I've uh, been with the military. Wow, you have been to a lot of places. I've covered Prime Minister Stephen Harper a lot. I'm doing the Queen next week. Uh, yeah, so I get to do quite a bit of things. I've uh, shot the most recently, shot the most music video awards. Who did you get to meet at the music awards? Well, I got to meet uh, and see on uh, behind stage and while he performed by uh, Justin Bieber. So I seen him. Well, I seen him. I, I mean, I met him when he was coming down the stairs and I was coming up the stairs to the media room. So we passed, crossed paths, and he had like eight or nine guys in security with him. So it was kind of like we were stuck on the stairs to get waiting for the traffic to go through. And I'm just like, hey, and he's just like, hey, and that was basically it. I love the pictures you took of the Jonas Brothers, Adam Lambert. Black Eyed Peas, and Kesha. I really like the picture of Katy Perry in the ice cream truck. I was at the Olympics, and that was really fun. I got to do the opening and closing ceremonies, which was, which was really cool to see in Canada, being from Canada. Um, just stuff like that. Going to the Arctic was probably my favorite trip I've done. Your pictures in the Arctic of the different animals are awesome. It gets real cold in the Arctic. Uh, it was minus 58. And I was, uh, you know, dressed in my parka and my, my gloves, and it was it was cold. It was fun. Uh, so, how did you become a famous photographer? Famous photographer? I don't know what famous, but um, I became a photographer. I'll say uh, for the Canadian press, There's a lot of work. I mean, I graduated from SAIT, the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. Um, I took photojournalism there. It's a two-year program, and then from there, I did a bunch of internships and I did my practicum at the Calgary Sun. If you could pick anyone in the whole world to take pictures of, who would you pick? Wow, that's a good question. That's a hard question because there's so many people in the world. But, um, you know what, to be honest with you, I don't have a specific person. I think that pe taking pictures of people in general, it's, it's what makes it, my job so neat. Because here I am talking to you guys, getting interviewed. And, you know, this is exciting to me because it's part of my job. Like one day I'll be shooting a hockey game, the next day I'll be shooting a baseball game. You gotta meet so many interesting people and get to go so many places. Um, are there any places or events you'd like to take pictures of? Places or events? Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the Olympics. I mean, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Going to uh, certain countries to meet different cultures would be neat. Stanley Cup is always a good one. I mean, I'm a hockey fan, so I like. I got to photograph the Stanley Cup when Sidney Crosby wasted it, which was, you know, for me, it's pretty special. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much for